This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. What's good, my peoples? I'll be in the camera one second. Hold up a second. One second. I got a little cute for y'all motherfuckers real quick. I got some shit that just hit the fan and y'all will not believe it. Y'all will not y'all will not fucking believe it. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad we got the Constitution. But you know, eventually some people they take stuff out of context too far to where it was supposed to go. I have to put some lotion on my legs so I know I'm kinda crusty. <sighs> y'all. I had to come to y'all today. I had some more shit that's hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? And this time it's not between me and the fiance. You know. It's me and his peoples. Okay. The last time I checked, you know what I'm saying, what was it ever okay for people not to express their opinions about what they have to say if they have feelings on their mind? Go ahead, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you rejuvenate and let you think about that whenever you get done come up with a possible question, possible answer, and let me know what you think. Because the last time I checked, you know what I'm saying, it was, you know, in the Constitution or the amendments, that first act was random speech and all that type of stuff, freedom of speech and all that, and to do whatever fuck you want. So, you know. I get yelled at and I get bitched at for something I said on Facebook about two weeks ago regarding my fiance's comments. You know what I'm saying? There's been some stuff that I've been reading off his phone that disturbed me. Shall I say do a beast Scott that disturbed my spirit? And <clears throat> what I read disturbed me to the point where I took it there and I had to ask my friends on Facebook what they think. Okay. Knowing that I am in a relationship that is interracial, how would you guys feel if you went through your lover's phone and in that phone and knowing your past of how your relationship is with your fiance and knowing that you might 80% of the time get along, might not get along with his parents, how would you feel if you know already off the back that, <clears throat> and this is going to be some bullshit, that what you post on your Facebook is true, but it might not be true, but yet whatever you put up there comes from your mind or what you're thinking, but yet when somebody else read it, they think it's a racist comment. How was saying that, you know, how was me expressing my feelings and my thoughts on what I think about a person or what I read is racist? The text message I read on his phone, and I quote, Well, my dad thinks I'm weird because I like black girls, and black girls I have a fascination with. Like black girls. And black girls I have a fascination with. Yeah, but well, he don't really like that fact that I'm dating a black girl. Okay, pause it right there. Okay, so this is what I did. Jumped on Facebook because I was disturbed the whole week about the comment. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say nothing to nobody about it to the last minute. And jumped on Facebook three days ago and posted it. And I had maybe like four or five people commented about it. I said, there was something that disturbed my spirit and my soul. And what I read on my fiance's phone was not cute. The comment came out and said, well, my dad thinks I'm weird because I like black girls. Why does it got to be something always about a black person? Why does it always got to be something different? And somebody jumped to the conclusion that it was a racist comment. It's not a racist comment if I sit up here and say, well, your daddy, you know what I'm saying, I don't think that was appropriate that what he said was racist. So you're going to put it on me in context for me to say, well, your dad's racist. I didn't say nothing like that. What I said was, I don't appreciate the comments that he makes about you liking black girls 
And that, you know, even though there was stuff that he said back then, and there was stuff that your people said back then about us being together, it's not cool. So let me tell y'all what he did, y'all. He texted my cell phone this morning, and I guess eventually he was sleeping, and either his mama or his daddy went downstairs, woke him up to buy some. Oh, well, well, there's a comment on Facebook that mo, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> there's a, there's a comment on Facebook that Monique said something about your daddy, about me being racist. I didn't say nothing like that out of the ordinary. You know what? I know who it is. I know who you are, but you know what? You better be glad I even added you on Facebook because now you're off. You're fake. And that's the reason why I left you sitting there on idol, idolizing for the past couple of days, determining if I should add your ass or not. But, you know, people don't like the way I speak my mind, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's not sitting up here speaking in layman's terms or baby goo guy language, you know, it's just hard to tell people how you feel nowadays without them sitting up here wanting to be all crucial and criticize you for your things or what you think. But, this is some bullshit. 